with my music, that's what I try to do. It just sound design. I, I, you know, I start with the sounds that are given to me, and I'll see where I can take them. started off as like not an accidental project but it was a it was a product of not being completely satisfied as of what I was doing with uh, what I was you know back in the day I was producing beats for MCs and, and uh, you know adding electronic and experimental side shit to different bands and and it wasn't really a hundred percent me it was just like I don't know I guess I'd work better alone. I spent a lot of time in the hip hop scene, but then also growing up around like this place called Coos Cafe, which was the local sort of punk house. I don't know, it was cool, like get like doing that, doing like DJing and and, and, and seeing bands every day and, and stuff like that was like kind of molded me into into just understanding music as a whole, and, and it's really what, what what started the roots of everything, you know. I was still like heavily active in the Los Angeles community while I was out here, I mean, since high school. Um, but you know, uh, I mean, for the most part, I mean, I was, I was down here, I lived down here, and really, I mean, it's not the most inspiring of places, but you kind of just surround yourself around the right people, and uh, it, it is what it is, really. Like, it, I mean, there's, there's, Orange County is like, it definitely has the image, like, it definitely fits the, the TV image of the beaches and, and all that stuff, like it's really nice. But uh, there's there's a lot of hood elements to it and there's a lot of really inspiring places to go and, and, and you just gotta find it, you gotta look for it. It's just like LA, it's like this really small version of LA, I guess. Uh, the low end theory and everything coming out of it is hugely inspiring uh, for anyone, you know what I mean? It's like. It reminds me of uh, you know growing up and, and getting introduced to, to hip hop for the first time and punk for the first time and um, you know it's, it's it's something that's that's ours. Los Angeles never really had the front line of electronic music. It was Detroit, you know Chicago house, New York house, um, uh, London, you know which also is a heavy place for electronic music. Um, you know, the drum and bass scene, everything, like, every, everywhere else had their electronic scene, but for the first time ever, um, Los Angeles is the front line of electronic music, this type of electronic music. People call it so many things, um, bass music, experimental, it's, it's everything, you know what I mean? But it's, it's genreless and, and limitless, I mean, everything kind of goes down there and... <sighs> Really, I mean, that's what just makes it so crazy, you know, so crazy. The club, you can get away with a lot. I mean, there's everything from like psych rock matched up with with dirty beats, dubstep, and just stuff that people would not think really works together, but does, you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, just the culture is so heavy. But uh, I did sort of take a quick break between the EP and this record just because I uh, sort of jumped into a, to a career that I did not expect and it's a, uh, I mean I can't really explain in detail how hard it is to, to put a restaurant together. It's, I guess it's just by far the, uh, the hardest industry to, to, to jump into to, to actually to run, you know? And as a musician, trying to trying to do both things, you're using both sides of your brain. And if you can imagine, it kind of screws you up for a little bit. But um, at the tail end of everything, and just through ideas, I was able to to come up with a good 13 solid tracks that, that really, really told the told the story these past two years. With any record that I make, is just an open-ended formula. It's not like, oh, I'm gonna make a beat record. You know what I mean? Or I'm gonna make a hip hop record. This is like, I'm gonna make a record that's all me. That's like, if I feel like making a an evil song, I'm gonna make an evil song. And if I feel like making a slow jam, I'll make one of those. <laughs> I don't know. But um, yeah, that's that's really how it goes. I mean, that's, that's my formula, I'd say, is just being 
open-ended and open-minded and actually trying new things, you know. Some parts will definitely take you by surprise just because you go through a lot of different moods and you want to make a lot of different types of music. It's more, it's just, there's a lot more freedom in music now, you know. It's, technology has made it easier, easy enough for us to have home studios. Um, the internet's made it easy enough to, make, to have our own marketing uh, tactics or whatever and connect to people online and, and just connect to the world. I mean, we didn't have that before. It was, you know, when you had, you had your sound, you had your music that you'd record, you'd have your local community and hopefully people would come to your shows. But now it's like you put something online and, um, you know, you could have that quick audience. Sometimes, you know, it takes time to build it, but whether or not, like, how, how well it's received, it's out there, you know? And uh, just run with it, um, you know, embrace technology just use it to your advantage if you want to do something proper, you know, get your music out there, which is the main, main deal.